Really? So, the people want to know, what is Audimute? How did this all happen? All that good stuff. Oh my God, that's, you're just breaking up with some certain, like, like smaller questions so these guys can digest this stuff. <laughs> so Audimute is a family business. Started a drummer, gone science geek, figured out a way to solve sound problems for myself. That led to solving it for other musicians. And then that quickly spread to commercial markets and such. But I think the passion because of my background has always been to work with drummers. And then most frequently, a lot of pro drummers like yourself. So that's like, very humbling, really excited. It causes me to do my best work. But the company um, really became known for creating decorative solutions. So they weren't just, you know, convoluted foam and the things people think about uh, when they, you know, fabric covered panels, even though we can do things like that. Um, we took a different direction. We wanted something that was easy, easy to install, easy to work with, easy to obtain. Um, and uh, we wanted something to be green, that's healthful, and wholesome, that's easy to work with, it's safe to have in your environment, versus say like with fiberglass, you have some particulates and silica issues and whatnot. And then we wanted something affordable that we could take to the masses. It's not something that you'd make for like five times a year for clients in a, in a, in a very pricey market, either private or commercial. And this gave us just a really nice uh, angle to start a company that has just gone where I would never thought it would go because we have such a great team. It's not me, it's just, I'm humbled every day to serve the people who I get to work with. Right on. Um, I know I first heard and saw your product from my friend Carter McLean, and I was like, what the heck is that? Once I saw the, the wood panel in the back, I was like, I'm like, dude, did you put wood back there? Or what, what's going on? He's it like, was funny because you got the comments like, dude, you can't put wood back there. You're going to get all that reflection and all these problems. Well, we created a product called Acousta Wood that looks like wood, but this is an acoustic panel. and gives a nice absorption and mid frequency especially and leaves some of those highs and so proud of it and clearly looks yeah. good, sounds good, very excited. It's incredible. I know I loved Carter's space like so much that I was like, oh, like I can't have the same space as Carter. So run down like what was your thought process, designers and stuff like that. Um, Carter's to come are up, here or both. <laughs> uh, both like to make wow. them different because I, I know Carter's was first but for me, that was my reference. Like I was like, Carter's studio is sick. It's sick. But I don't want to have the cookie cutter kind of experience as well either. You know, I right. didn't want it to be the same thing. So run, you know, how run, you, how at least let them know. Right. Yeah. So here's, here's what's cool, here's what's cool. So my role on the team is, as a leader um, is, uh, is to really be out in the future. What's the next thing? You know, I, I see myself as a lot of the creator. You can't have everybody creating in the company or there's no standard and then it's very hard to, for everyone daily to be able to solve traditional sound problems for the masses. Um, uh, again, easy, green, affordable, right? So, um, but working with me is, is the cutting edge, kind of the creating and, and, and innovating constantly, um, where my crazy brain lives in the future, is what's the next thing? What am I working on? And I got a bag full of things that I'm always trying to test. Like, what needs to get out there next? What are we gonna try now? Um, and so Carter's has a ton of firsts, you know what I mean? Um, uh, wow, uh, we call it Carter Gray. He had the first acoustic, Acousta Wood became known as, he didn't have a name back then either. So Acousta Wood, he had the first series of that panel. We never installed it before. So you better believe I'm gonna be there to understand, is it easy, you know? Is it, a, is it something that we can still continue to sell affordably? Um, we did that cool asymmetrical quadratic absorber wall called Strata Cityscape, which is absolutely sick. Um, it's cool, it's funky, it looks, I mean, the backgrounds he creates with that is, in, is just incredible. So I um, was very confident that was gonna do its thing and that was the largest installation that we've ever done and that was, uh, again, a newer product at the time. Um, uh, combining products right now is a very big thing for us. The Acousta Wood thing is very big, so when I started thinking about your project, it was like, okay, wow, how are we gonna come up with something here that's gonna be unique and, and cool? Um, but the things we did there, which are similar but can be different, are things like images. So he had all his um, inspiring you know, motivators and um, drummers of past Tony Williams, et cetera, just, just incredible people on the wall behind him because that's who inspired him. So um, we put acoustic image panels there. Uh, he designed his own drumstick. So we took the schematic and we turned that into an acoustic image panel. That's right. Remember yeah, that? That's right. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of all the cool things we did there. And those are standard things that we do, but man, it was just really cool to put them in his space um, in a really cool, neat way. Um, what else is really unique about his space? Uh, polygon panels were relatively new at the time. Those went on his ceiling. Um, and those are the bigger, 
heavy lifting things or some other uh, tricks up our sleeve there that he hasn't really pulled out yet that in his own studio that are sitting, I know, in the, in the background waiting for a day. But um, uh, I think Sammy Marandino is going to be putting those in his studio uh, <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, so there'll be some new experimentation there. And here, how did we get here? Well, I, we needed absorption, we needed a lot of it. You know, obviously low frequency being some issues. We had to be concerned with uh, clarity of sound. And I always heard that little bit of a, of a, of a, uh, it was kind of a, a return in this room that I, I didn't think was supposed to be there and the look. And when I went online and I saw you playing and I was like, oh my God, listen to this guy, he's sick. You know what I'm talking about, right? And, oh my God. And so it's like, turn my sticks in here, take them, stab me. Uh, but it was like, you know, had to do something really wild and crazy in here and um, went to our design team led by Aya and uh, she just, her team went over the top and we saw, we did a couple designs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what'd you think of the first design? The first design was real edgy, like super edgy, but I know I'm kind of like a clean guy, so I wanted it to kind of look real clean and slick, but still had like some modern accents and contemporary. Um, so the first rendering was was really cool, but it was just different. And I was like, I don't know if I'm ready for that for me. It was it was it was heavy. It yeah. was heavy. Um, but we took the concepts, you looked at the renderings, which is a really great thing to do because then you can play with things, try things on. And um, I think what it came down to was really simplifying, you know? Yeah. Um, designers sometimes feel challenged, like, well, I got all these crazy things, like kind of like I do sometimes. And sometimes, um, Sammy's is a good application. Sometimes the simplest is the easiest and the best. And you don't have to go crazy to sound good and look good. And um, so your design, I mean, we took a very clean look. Uh, we took a very, uh, clean series of products that gave some texture but a consistent background. You shook it up with a couple of different colors on the Strata uh, textured uh, surface, the profile that you see here. Um, we took Acousta, Acousta Wood and you went to a, you know, a really cool tone. God, I think it's his um, um, emerald, light emerald something, ash, 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 medium ash. It was ash, medium something. ash. Medium, medium ash. ash, yeah. Oh, wow. And this, and, then, and I'm sure you'll show pictures of the other walls. Absolutely. Incredible. And then we used our high density product to um, to create your logos and of course your amazing signature on the other wall, which just is sick. Sick. So sick. I'm I almost faint. <laughs> by the way, I'm almost fainted when I came in the door. I was like, I was like, this can't be my studio. This can't be real. So um, it, it, it's crazy. And I'll tell you what got me was this is the first time again a lot of firsts in here too, which we can talk about. But what got me was how cool the ceiling came out. Yeah. The ceiling was sick. It's a it's a, it's a little lower ceiling because you did room in a room concept. Yep. You know. Um, but it looks like stone. It looks like 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 concrete slabs and, and tiles and such. And who, you don't build with that overhead. That's just how it's done. <laughs> but it is here. Yeah. And it's acoustical. It's called Acousticolor uh, panels. And they're just great. And my gosh, it looks great. And then we put acoustic wood beams, which I don't think you can buy on the website yet. That's brand new. Coming soon, maybe. I'll talk to the engineer. Crazy. Tyler will probably kill me if saying this because I'm talking about a product we don't have. But man, these the wood beams are just sick. And by the way, those beams are now real wood. They're actually foam. Yeah, acoustic color, acoustic cellulose. So yeah. you need to check this. It's just insane. Like when I saw it, I was like, there's no way that's not real wood. And uh, it's light as a feather, I'll tell you that. It's, it's convincing um, and it's great. And same with your accents that we did in your wall here that we did picked up last yeah. minute. I'm sure you'll show pictures of that. It just sometimes you design on the fly because you're feeling something and we made some, some audibles along the way. Um, but this is, um, truly an amazing space. We tried to build Audimute with um, a sense of um, mass customization. So if we had to do everything custom every single time for every single customer, we would lose the affordable of the easy green and affordability, right? So, um, so being able to stick within your mass customization means being able to create, uh, you know, taking the same core, our cellulose earth-friendly core, and then be able to do different things with it. So you can go here, you can go here, you can go here, you can go to the wood, you know, yeah, to the beams. Yeah. And now suddenly you've got a whole arsenal of things that when you can shape something and do all kinds of neat things with it, you only have to tweak the last five, 10% to make something uniquely yours. So the difference between what's in Carter's studio and in this studio mechanically is within 5%. Yeah. But look at the difference in the space, Yeah. you know? Um, and what's interesting is just because of the shape and how we put things together, there's a difference in the sound. Big I mean, time. this is, this is, this is 
clean. It's it's bone dry in here. It's, yeah. it's you know some drummers would probably be afraid of that environment because it's like well it's too dry and it loses my highs and all. That. Well, in the space you want to record dry. You want you know you want to get to those mics and get something clean and then take care of your effects and everything in the mix down. Yeah, absolutely. And you just let the pros do that. You know that's what they do. That's their art, man. That's <laughs> yeah. as, that's as hard to do as the magic you do at the kit. It's oh, the same man, thing. Thank you. But yeah, it's true, man. Just hire somebody to get those effects in if you need them. Yeah. But, Man, all I say is, personally, me, I just want to say thank you. I mean, um, I could never even have thought of any of this, to be honest with you. <laughs> but uh, I want to thank you, your design team, everyone who's on staff. Um, personally, I just want to say thank you. I can't say thank you enough, to be honest. Um, but it came out better than the renderings. And uh, it's more than a dream at this point. Now it's a reality. And I just want to say thanks for making my dreams come true, man. Dude, it is such a pleasure and again I represent some really hardworking people and it's it's um it's humbling because when you, you know, I'm getting credit for everybody's good work because I'm the one sitting in this chair but the yeah. bottom line is there's a talented team at Audimute and I respect them in, in the biggest way and it's like it's their work that I'm bragging about all the time um yeah I got the target on my back and in front but let me tell you something without them this place just doesn't work and I think that comes to th through in our product when I walk in there and I get back and I show these pictures they're gonna see, they, this is what you work so hard for. This is why we were so busy. This is what was so crazy about this particular design or we didn't get this in time or we were fighting to get this and you know, all the internal things that companies go through, but everybody's all in and to make your dream come true for you, there is nothing better. This is why we do this. Right on, man. Well, thanks again, man. Dude. I really appreciate it. What a pleasure. My man. What a pleasure. Check out Audi Music.